guys welcome back to the kundalini yogini this is Priscilla, and i am so excited to share with you guys an amazing detailed vlog of my past weekend in bhakti fest which is a huge yoga kirtan and meditation festival in southern california it usually happens around the joshua tree area this year it happened in the desert in 29 palms so this happened about a few weeks ago, finally just got the vlog together and I could not be more happy to share with you guys these experiences. It's so fun for even me to watch back on the, the bliss and the connection which we experienced over the weekend at Bhakti Fest. Now just a quick introduction on what Bhakti Fest is so you guys understand what it is you're seeing in the video. It's one of the largest, if not one of, if the largest yoga and kirtan festival in the US. It, it really has the vibes of almost like a modern day hippie movement, except for without drugs and alcohol. And I think this is one of the coolest reasons why I was drawn to it, is that I saw so much authenticity and I saw not just, you know, dependent on substance, but on actual connection to the divine. And what bhakti means is devotion. So the entire festival is centered around Eastern tradition, which are paths of devotion, um, including yoga, meditation, and kirtan, which is devotional singing or chanting of the names of the different forms of the divine, of God of, or of the goddess. And so the entire weekend was centered around meeting amazing people from all over the world, all different ages. There's tons of families and little kids, as well as a lot of young people, but also a lot of older people who have been experiencing these path, this path for decades. And so it was such a blessing and an honor to connect with all the beings there and to learn from them and hear about their past and how they made it to where they are. That was one of my favorite things in the world to experience is just hearing people's stories and seeing how they've transformed themselves through divine connection and divine love and spiritual seeking. So I hope that you enjoy getting a glimpse into our experiences. It was, it was my birthday and so I thought really there was no better way I would rather celebrate than this. And it really exceeded my expectations. I cannot wait to go back. So I hope that this will inspire you guys to come check it out and take part because wow, it was, it was phenomenal. Words can't do it justice, but I hope that some of these videos and images can give you guys a glimpse of how amazing it was to partake in such authentic spiritual practices like kirtan, seeing the devotional chants um, and mantras continuously in oneness with the divine of meditation practices, sound baths, yoga, and amazing workshops by astounding speakers like Radhanath Swami and, and a, a monk who has one of the most incredible stories. He was probably my favorite speaker that I saw over the weekend. And I do include a longer clip of his speech, so I hope that you guys enjoy that as well. It was, it was a effervescent and blissful weekend with some of the most divine beings and I cannot be more grateful so I hope you guys enjoy sharing these experiences with me. I love you all. Nithinanda.
how to prove it as we go into the unknown. Where's all the teachers? We need you now. To all the healers, this is a calling. This world is slipping into darkness. Imagination. spiritual perspective is discontent within our own hearts because we're disconnected from ourselves. So yoga is to reunite, to unite the body, <coughs> the mind, with the true self. So when a drop of water falls from a cloud, it's pure, it's transparent. <clears throat> but under all of these upadis, all of these misconceptions, we're now thinking, I'm the controller, I'm the enjoyer, I'm the proprietor, based on this bodily and mental conception. 
This chanting of God's names, Srila Prabhupada explained, it is a process of filtering the muddy water of the mind and bringing it back to its natural, transparent nature. In that state, we understand who we are. And something beautiful happens. When we understand who we are, we understand who everyone is. Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare and everything is nourished. And the heart's special function is to love and to be loved. I need to get a shot of my boy. <laughs> what do you have
message and the theme and the mode. If you can see the divine shine behind every mask, you will no longer be afraid of your own shadow. watching make sure to leave your thoughts and your experiences in the comment below especially if you were at bhakti fest or have been to a similar experience i would love to hear from you guys love you all thank you again Nithinanda. <laughs>